Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the push-pull tool. So make sure you still have your hammer selected and that you are in edit mode. And what we're going to do is select some of the faces here. So I'm just going to hit three. Make sure you go into your face selection. So what we can do, uh, just to kind of show you an example of the push and pull, I don't really use this tool very often, but let me show you kind of what it can do. So let's go into Alt-Z and go into see-through mode. And let's just select the top of this hammer here. And if we have the push-pull tool selected, it kind of just looks almost like it's scaling. Uh, it's kind of a little bit different, but it's, it's scaling from a center point right here. You can also use it in conjunction with the transform pivot tool right here. If you click down and do 3D cursor, and say we shift right click and move the 3D cursor over here. Then if we use the push pull and do it now, notice it's pushing and pulling towards the 3D cursor. And once it goes through, it kind of like inverts it. Um, so, you know, if you want to get creative with that, you, that may be helpful to you sometimes. I really don't use it that often, like I was saying, uh, but just shows you kind of what this tool is capable of. So I'm just gonna undo that, but let's use it just for the top or kind of like right in here around our uh, hammer here. So I'm just gonna grab the edge loop. So make sure you have everything selected there. And we're just gonna use the push pull tool. Um, we can change it to any one of these. Uh, we can even do bounding box center, which is just going to find kind of the center point of these selected faces. Um, so if we just push and pull that, notice we get Kind of a, you know, it's almost just like scaling. I would just scale naturally, but, uh, you know, if you want to use this tool, uh, this is what it does. So there you go. So now we've got a little uh, indention there for our hammer. And let's turn off our x-rays. And there we go. So now we're starting to look more and more like a hammer every day. So that is, in a nutshell, the push-pull tool. I don't really use it often, but just so you know what it does, um, and how to use it with the 3D cursor. So hopefully that helps. Let's go ahead and dive into the next lesson. We're gonna talk about the shear tool.